nursing leadership and management ang alay ko sa inyo for today's video. If you wanna know more about that, stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Gusto niyo ba yung bago nating setup? Ito na talaga. Ngayon, um, it's been 13 days since the last time I uploaded a video. Gusto kong bumawi sa inyo kasi gusto kong pakinggan yung isa sa mga request nyo. Ay, it, ang video request na ito ay galing sa kanya. Nakalimutan ko yung name mo. Pero, he actually requested for me to create a playlist or lecture materials regarding nursing management and nursing leadership and management. And tamang-tama because I'm actually taking up a course right now and I want to share whatever I am learning to that course to you guys. Ngayon, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other nursing related uh, videos that I created on my channel, I'll be putting the links and some of the playlists I have on my channel on the description box or kapag nag-click itong kapag nag-pop out itong icon button dito, i-click mo lang yun because I'll be putting some of the playlists there. Ngayon, what will you expect on the upcoming weeks um, or upcoming uploads that we'll have on my channel? I'm going to be uploading uh, videos, lecture materials related to nursing leadership and management. We're going to discuss it to the T. Exciting, hindi ba? Ngayon, I would like to grab this opportunity to really thank you guys for making it happen. 15,000 na nga po tayo. Could you imagine? None of that will be possible if it wasn't because of you. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtitiwala. Ngayon, without further ado, let me switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so hi everybody. Welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng iyong attributes of a leader. On the uh, very first entry natin sa ating um, Advanced Nursing Leadership and Management course. Now, let this be your nursing study guide. Ngayon, isa nga ito sa mga request nyo na gawin natin dito sa ating channel. Kaya naman, I'm doing this video lecture for you. So, like I said on the intro earlier, you can expect a lot more videos regarding to nursing leadership and management. Malaking tulong to para sa mga nagtitake ng grad course. Uh, postgraduate course at sa mga fourth year nursing student natin dyan. Okay? So, so, what do you expect on this discussion? We were going to discuss how leader can motivate the staff, uh, the staff and the people around um, him or her. We're going to explain how leadership and management can be integrated to the actual practice and also outline the leader's and the, its characteristics. Malino ba sa inyo yun? Malino. So, ito na tayo. So, here's our objectives for our today's discussion. We are going to answer the question, what is leadership? The essence of leadership, the difference between management and leadership by John Cotters, according to his distinction. The importance of leadership and two types of leadership. So, magandang simula natin tong ating discussion with this concepts of things para mas malina at solido yung ating mga discussion in the future regarding to your uh, leadership and management and nursing. Okay? So, first up, what is leadership? Let's define this one. Uh, leadership is the part of motivating a group of people to act to, uh, towards a group of uh, people towards achieving common goal. What is happening? That's typographical error. But it's motivating group of people Towards achieving common goal. Motivation. I want you to take note of that one. Uh, motivating. Motivating. Next one is the process of encouraging and helping others uh, to work enthusiastically towards objectives. Why is my pen not working? Okay. Encouraging, motivating group of people. Those are the key terms. Next one, leadership is ultimately about creating a way of people to contribute to making something extraordinary to happen. And this is according to Alan Keith. So once again, this is the uh, definition of your leadership. So the essence of leadership, by synapping essence, it means what is the importance of leadership leadership we're gonna tackle that on this slide 
So first one, uh, leadership refers to the ability of one individual to influence others. Process of motivation. Paulit-ulit niyo itong maririnig itong motivation na to when, it, when you talk about leadership. Because mamaya tatalakay natin anong ibig sabihin, anong pinag-aiba ng leadership and management. You'll find out. Now, the influence is exercised to the change Uh, to change the behavior of others. Change of behavior is caused with an objective of achieving a shared goal and the person influencing others, the leader, possesses a set of qualities or characteristics which, uh, with which he or she is influenced uh, to, uh, she to influence other, other people. Now, leadership is a group of phenomenon that involves interaction between two or more people. Once again, this is the importance of your uh, leadership. Now, we're going to have this, the difference between management and leadership according to John Cutter's distinction. Ano nga ba pinagkaiba nila? Kasi minsan nakaka-confuse ito. Eh. Di ba parang para sa atin pareho lang naman sila? Now, let me ask you this. When you say leadership and management, what uh, what is what is the difference? Aside from the spelling and the actual word, there's difference po. Ito, unahin natin. When you talk about leadership, it is the process of influencing for the purpose of achieving shared goals. Influencing by, by what? Motivating other people, mod motivating the people around you. Uh, on the other hand, when you talk about management, it is the process of planning, organizing, coordinating, directing, controlling, Uh, of activity, uh, controlling activities of others. Management po, it talks about more of like um, the managerial tasks, which involves coordinating, directing, planning. It is very much of a task-oriented, um, what's this? Task-oriented sets of traits and task-oriented sets, uh, sets of, uh, what's this, activities. When you talk about leadership, it talks about um goal oriented uh the driving force your purpose why you're doing it it talks about um uh what's this awakening your your uh your main intention why you do things uh, and making sure that that will push you to achieve the goal that you want let's say on the, on the organization or in the in your personal self so this is the definition of leadership and management management is more of like standard of sets of goals and practices um when you manage you you plan you organize you coordinate you direct those activities for you to achieve a certain goal now when you talk about leadership it is how are you going to motivate your people to join you and to be in line with the sets of plans and with the sets of goals that you have you see what i'm saying is that make sense Yes, I hope so. Okay, proceed na tayo. Now, ito nga, ito si John Cutter. Ito yung pagkaka-definition niya ng, uh, ng difference niya between leadership and management. Pag minisunerge mo siya siya, 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 sa, what's this, sa YouTube or sa Google, ito yung picture na nakita ko sa kanya. So, pinakilala niya si leadership, dinifferentiate niya si leadership and management and to um, different sets of traits. Bibigyan ko kayo ng table. Ito siya. Now, according kay John Cutter, yung management um, involves coping with complexity. Leadership coping with change. More of like the motivational side, the emotional side. Management involves with um, cognitive, involves coping, coping behaviors. Um, management, it administers leadership innovate Man in management they maintain in leadership they develop and management they control in leadership they inspire in management short-term view in leadership they do long-term view and management asks how and when paano and kailan leadership they ask what and why ano at bakit Um, in management, they initiate. In leadership, they originate. Okay? Now, um, in management, they accept the status quo. Do things right 
and in leadership, they challenge the status quo, do right things. So, ano pinakaiba na accept status quo, do things right, and accept challenges, um, th- uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, challenges the status quo, do right things. Um, simply lang guys, ganito, papaliwanan ko siya sa inyo. Di ba sinabi ko kanina, when you talk about management, you talk about planning, organizing, um, uh, what's this, uh, directing, um, administering. When uh, management, you follow certain protocols, you follow, you're very much so of a task, a task driven um, type of uh, what's the situation when you do the right things following SOPs uh, leadership it challenges the status quo by doing the right things um, uh, you like I said in leadership it deals more of like um, innovating and developing the skill set of your people and by inspiring them motivating them Hence, those are the difference between management and leadership according to John Cutter. So, screen share mo na ito kasi malaking tulong ito sa inyo. Now, next slide na tayo, the importance of leadership. Bakit nga ba ito importante? Ito po siya. Now, one leadership transform potential into reality. Meaning, you see such as to us, silver linings. Uh, silver linings? <laughs> meaning, you see uh, such potentials into um, challenging situations and you transform that into reality. Now, leadership is not mere using people and their potential for realizing an organization and organization's goals. It has the ultimate aim of raising the level of human conduct and ethical aspiration of both leader and the lead. Sino yung, yung, yung leader at yung kanyang followers? Okay? All right. So, the two types of leadership, ito, introduce ko sa inyo, meron tayong formal and informal. Ano ba pinagkaiba nun? Huwag kayong magalala kasi sa mga susunod nating videos and slides, a video, presentation, lecture ko sa inyo, itatakal natin yung different styles of leadership and management, okay? But for now, let me introduce to you the formal leadership and informal. On this slide, we're going to talk about formal Leadership. Ano ba yung formal leadership? Now, occurs when a manager leads by exercising formal authority. Uh, the exercise of formal authority through assigning duties derives from the manager's official position within the organization's hierarchy of authority. Meaning, meron ka ng ano, design, meron kang job description, meron kang pinirmahang kontrata, meron kang na-employed ka sa posisyong bilang staff, o na-employed ka sa posisyong bilang charge nurse, na-employed ka sa posisyong, bi- posisyong, posisyong bilang nurse manager, nursing director, yung mga ganun. So, meron kang formal and legit position sa hospital o sa organization na kinabibilangan mo. Now, any employee who is assigned as a managerial assigned a managerial position has the opportunity and the responsibility to exercise formal leadership. Meaning, everybody nakalagay sa ID mo, nakalagay doon na nurse manager ka, nakalagay doon na nursing director ka, or nursing um, charge nurse ka. You have an official position. All right, when you talk about informal leadership, ito po siya. Arises when a person without formal authority is influential. Ano yung magandang halimbawa nito? Meaning, kung bago meron kayong, meron isang grupo, ah, nag-formulate ng isang grupo. Mula sa grupo na yon, you were assigned to lead by the, by the groups of that core group. Tama ba? Does it, does it make sense? You were assigned, but officially you don't have, you were assigned because they believe in you and they think that you have the potential to lead. So that is the one example of informal leadership. Alright? So tapos na nga tayo sa ating discussion for today's video. That ang, yan ang ating unang video, presentation, video lecture regarding your nursing leadership. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this one. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do and let me know if this video is helpful to you. 
comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung mga next video presentation natin, lectures natin, sa mga susunod na araw regarding sa nursing leadership. And um, tulungan mo na nga ako, ipamalita mo na sa radyong si Ram, pinakabago, pinaka-fresh, at ang pinaka-nurse, uh, li pinaka-libreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. We'll see you again next time. You have a good one. Mwah. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your fans. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. Or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. Also, I would like to invite you to please like, share, and follow my Facebook page. The link is on the description box as well. I'll see you again next time.